What's up guys? So it is November 5th and I actually just went grocery shopping. I am going to show you guys a little bit of meal prep. Um, some super, super easy, basic meal prepping. No lie, this is about as simple as it gets. I'm just going to uh, get some chicken going in the oven and then I'm going to go ahead and um, get some ground turkey on the stove and then I will either um, steam or like saute up some vegetables. Um, I'll show you guys what seasonings I'm using and yeah, let's get it. This is gonna be super easy for you guys to kind of follow and match. Um, and if you guys have any questions, like any time throughout the video, you know what to do. Shoot them in the comment section below and I will gladly try to answer answer those for you. Are we doing an accent now? I believe that we are. If you guys have not already, um, I did just post a, uh, a video on my physique update and also a show for 2016. I was gonna try to do some number action there, but didn't work. If you guys have not checked out that video, go check it out right now. I'll post it in the link below. I am competing next year um, again, and I'm really, really excited. Um, so I know that I've had some controversy as far as if I was gonna compete again. Um, I have made up my mind. So if you guys want more information about my thoughts and kind of like where I'm going from here, um, check out that video. I, again, will have the link below. And now, let's get to meal prepping. I went ahead and set the oven to 350. Um, that will be heated uh, for the chicken. So while that is preheating, um, I'm going to get the chicken laid on uh, just a simple baking pan with foil, just so that you don't have to clean the pan after because I am lazy. So the chicken that is being featured in this video is, uh, I just picked it up at Safeway, open nature, 99% fat free, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Breast is this. And for those of you who are scared to touch meat, um, cause I know some people are, I'm not, I'm sorry if that grosses you out, use some forks or something to get it on the pan. All right, and the seasonings of choice um, that I'm going to season the chicken with is gonna be some garlic powder. We'll see if you can see that. Um, this does have sodium in it. Um, usually I do get like non-sodium things. Um, I think these have sodium, yeah. But to be honest, I'm not gonna worry about it. So, garlic powder and some. All right, and so the oven is preheated, so I'm just going to slip these on in and let these cook for about 30 minutes. I'll, put, I'll set it for about 25, 30 minutes. Steamy up in there. Very hot. I will do it for like 25 and then I will check on it. While the chicken is cooking, I got some Genio ground turkey breast, extra lean. What I'm gonna do with this is get it in the pan and then I'm going to show you guys what I'm seasoning that with and uh, I'll show you guys the veggies. Jesus. Peanut. I know, I know, life's hard. Gonna be uh, seasoned on this little slab of uh, turkey is some red pepper, some crushed red pepper, and some roasted garlic and herb. Um, honestly, I tend to just pick things out of our little herb drawer, our uh, seasoning drawer, and just like put it together. So I don't know how this is gonna taste, but that is what I'm going to season on there. Um, so this I might do a little bit different than some people. I know that some people will actually like put protein, carb source, or put their whole meal in Tupperwares. Um, I generally don't do that just because I don't really tend to eat the same foods day to day. Um, so typically what I do is whenever I meal prep, I will just put like all my chicken in a Tupperware, all of my turkey in a Tupperware, vegetables in a separate Tupperware. That, that way um, each day I can just take out as much as I know I'm gonna want for that day and I'm not like having to eat the same thing every single day. So that's kind of a fun tip if you're not somebody who enjoys to eat the same things every single day. Don't spread your meals like that. Just do it. It's not as convenient because you can't just grab it out and go. But this way you don't have to eat the same things every single day. So that's what I do. I like it. Um, try it out and see if you guys like it. And um, let me know what you guys think. If, uh, if that actually kind of helps you guys out so that you're not eating the same thing all the time. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts.
boom. The turkey is done. That literally took like three minutes, guys. It's really not, not too hard. And then I'll just shove this somewhere up in here and we're good with the turkey. And two different vegetables that I'm gonna um, cook up really fast. And yes, I know um, some people like fresh vegetables and so I'm sorry. Um, these are really convenient and easy, um, especially because I'm, I'm really on the go a lot of the time. So buying them uh, frozen is really, really easy for me. Um, so I'm going to steam these ones, and this is a new one, actually I haven't tried. It's the lightly sauced broccoli with cheese sauce. Um, so I'm gonna try this. Uh, it just has a little bit of fat, so 2.5 grams of fat, if you can see that, and then um, five grams of carbs, three grams of protein. Generally, I do not track my greens or like vegetables in my macros, but I might just for these because there's a little bit of fat. And then with these ones, I'm going to saute them um, just in the same pan that I used for um, my turkey. And I'm just gonna season these a little bit and saute. So I will steam, saute. Let's get it. So I'm just going to put these on there. Really, for vegetables, I honestly keep it really simple. I just put a little bit of black pepper on them. Um, honestly, I really like the taste of vegetables, so um, I normally don't season them too much. Um, and plus, I know that my other ones are gonna have that cheese sauce on them, so if I want something a little bit more plain, I know that I'm gonna have these. So I'm just gonna throw this on there and get these cooked. All right, and so these ones literally smell so bomb. Gosh dang it. Anyways, they smell really, really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the container. Oh man, all that cheesiness. I am so about that. These are just about done. Did I just spill? So I'm just gonna put these in a Tupperware, and then um, the chicken was beeping. Oh, this is like the third time I've done that. So I think that the chicken might be done, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in there for just a little bit longer while I get this in a Tupperware. Yeah. That looks so good. I'm very excited. So I'm just gonna put this in Tupperwares and I will show you guys that. All right, so got this put into Tupperware. That is the last of the meal prep. So that's gonna go ahead and finish that off. So that is gonna conclude this meal prep. Um, if you guys like these easy, like simple meal preps, um, go ahead and throw it a thumbs up. And then that way I just know that you guys are liking this kind of stuff. I'll definitely keep making more. Um, and maybe I'll just make like, like different meals, like d different ideas for dinner or lunch or stuff like that. Keeping it fun and interesting with food because Food is awesome. So yeah, and I'm really awkward. So yeah. I hope you guys got some good tips off of this and just a simple, easy meal prep. Um, hope that you guys enjoyed it. Throw a thumbs up if you did and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm posting two times a week, if not more than that, because sometimes I get ahead of myself and I like to record. So two times minimum a week. <laughs> um, I will catch you guys in the next video.